welcome back to the channel. Um, today we are at the glorious St Abs. Arrived a little late, had a typical slip, <laughs> slippy sleep in, and uh, there is pretty much someone on nearly every mark here. So if you snooze, you lose, I guess. The wind's pretty strong at the minute, and uh, it's kind of blowing straight across the shore, so it's going to make fishing a little tricky. But it's due to calm down and spin around and uh, be a lot more amenable to uh, to lure angling. Uh, so the plan is, is to find somewhere to fish from, probably down there. Um, fish with the heavier soft plastics or metals and then I've got my LRF rod as well. And uh, once the wind calms down and spins around a bit, we're going to uh, get that out and see. I wanna, I've bought some uh, freshwater Ned rigs. Little two, little two gram things. So really want to give those a try and see if I can wrinkle something out on those but what I'm going to do is uh, find my way down to a mark and uh, get rigged up and get in amongst the fish hopefully so we'll see you in a second down here now it's lush kind of out of the wind round here I'll not be fishing that way very much because you probably hear it on there so I'm gonna fish toward that structure over there and uh, hopefully it's within reach of the soft plastics and weedless and we can drag some little uh, three inch paddle tails along the bottom for some pollock so I have rigged up my uh, eight foot five 24 to 27 gram sorry four to 27 gram uh, lure rod used to be a foot six but I snapped uh, snapped the tip off last year and as I was uh, rigging up I found uh, one of these little Z-Man punch crows which float in the water and I'm going to start off with this the heaviest weight I've got 14 grams which isn't going to cut it in this uh, wind so what I've done is added a little five gram ball on the bottom so it's kind of a modular design I don't know how well it's going to work but since this lure sits up like that, can't really see it not working in all honesty. But uh, that give me, gives me a total of 19 grams to uh, to play with. So uh, hopefully that's enough. If not, I've got a 10 gram ball, I think, and I'll whack that on and then I'll be the upper limit of my rod. But I'm going to start with this, just drag it along slowly. Uh, these float, so they'll just kind of be waving around in the water and uh, I started using these last year by accident on this coast anyway and they were uh, pretty deadly. It's difficult to come by but uh, I, I've got two I think so don't lose it too soon. Oh, that's not good, second cast. Oh. So I think I'm gonna do is stick on a silver minnow. These lie sideways once the uh, lure hits the uh, the seabed, so they don't snag up as much. And then I've got a three o. Um, Mustard assist hook, which will stick on the top. And I think normally when fish hit lures on the drop, they hit the head, so that's where the assist hook comes in. That's why slow jigs have a lot of, they're normally rigged with them. So there we go 28 gram, little bit of a agricultural look, but proven fish catcher. Need some more braid on this. Razor bill cut it off on my last uh, trip out. Boy, it is deep out there. Well, I think it's about time I got some new braid on here. Just cast and spooled it. I thought I'd had enough left. That's limiting my casting distance. So fortunately, I had a delivery from Australia the other day and I've, uh, I've got it sitting in my bag. I've just been delaying putting it on uh, because I was still Still not really hitting the spool, but obviously now it's time for uh, that was time for some new braid on there. 
just double checking that I had some spare braid in my bag before I uh, before I took everything off my line. It's, uh, it's the best braid I've ever used. I've used a load of different braids and uh, this stuff just, it chews through barnacles, the abrasion resistance mint. Uh, it's 0.6 PE, uh, which is a diameter of 1.28, which is a uh, very, very narrow diameter. And it's tests at 12 pounds. But if you tie it with an FG knot, uh, it's got an actual rating strain of uh, 20.6 pounds. So it's really skinny line, but um, really strong at the same time. And I buy it from bustedfishing.com and it's, uh, they sell it by the meter. So this is a 400 meter spool. And when I buy in this sort of quantity and get it shipped from Australia, uh, it works out at about a mid price. I don't know, something like a suffix line, uh, 8.3. 831 is it i think maybe something similar anyway but way better no wind nuts either so uh let's get this spooled up and 15 minutes later we've got uh nearly 200 meters of lovely bright shiny new braid so what i've done is i've tied on another zen after doing put my leader on i'm just yeah, gonna whack this around a bit help bed the braid in um and the, the wind's actually dying get in so uh after i've done this for about 20 minutes or so i'm gonna tie on a plastic and uh, start dragging that along the bottom <laughs> As the plan was to, uh, <clears throat> once the wind died, get the LRF stuff out. I was just tying on a leader, and uh, when I was doing my pull test on my FG, it just the braid broke. It's just brittle. This is six pound line, and uh, it's just snapping like thread, <clears throat> which is a little bit disappointing since it's new and uh, not cheap either it's uh, suffix nano nano braid i've always been quite impressed with suffix stuff but i mean that is just it's just yeah really disappointing that's like 30 quids worth of braid one trip used and thinking about it no wonder i lost so much tackle on my last time i used this if the uh, the braid's so bloody femme Damn, that's disappointing. I was really looking forward to chucking some light lures around, but uh, I'll have to pack this up and um, get back onto the heavy stuff. Where's the fish, fellas? Can you see any? So that's the next mark down there. It's called the Bad Step. And you'll see why in a minute. It looks fishy. Only ever really fish this mark in winter with the lures, but uh, yeah, we'll have to give it a go. That was nuts. Just came around the corner, there's a guy having a tab on the, uh, underneath a boulder. Turns out he's a subscriber. Meet, them, <laughs> meet you everywhere. Always good to meet you. Uh, this is why it's called a bad step. Do not want to slip down there. Just get yourself wedged. Did he litter? Feathers. Bottles of Lucasade. Right, splayed me sh stuff all over the place. Uh, Feel like I'm in a hurry for some reason. Don't need to be. But uh oh, it looks good. Looks really good. I'm gonna start off with a uh, slider. Guy gonna get a pollock on soft plastics. Run out a lure clip, so I'm using a, a, a split split ring. I think it was last January, the last time I was down here.
Oh, finally. Oh, I need to just work this up. Over the structure in front of us. It's heading straight for it. It's in it. Feels like a little uh, pollock. Yeah, puddling. He's obviously a local, look at the colour of that. Sharp teeth as well. It's a fish eater. There we go. Spectacular colours. Finish this cast and then whack on the metal. Half of his wishes I brought the kayak out the day because it would have been lush tonight. See the seal just arriving here. Right on view, eh? What a glorious night. Really glad I stuck it out now. That little codlin's uh, just made my day really. Um, tied on another silver minnow, but um, uh, again, as usual, out of single hook, so I've got the shitty, uh, shitty trebles that are supplied with, so we'll see how long this lasts. amazed if I don't get a bird strike today. These guillemots and razor bills are just shooting across. Biggest pollock ever, but I'll take it. Why didn't I come here straight away? Well, there we go. Bit of a bruiser. Nice colours on it though. Get in. He's away. You know, I nearly went to a different place, completely just left St Abs, but uh, happily made the effort and walked that bit further to get here. Um, I mean, look. It's just rough. Little lucky lad. is picking up and it's keeping my line up off the water so I'm trying to get down onto the water up, up you go get my line so it's just laying flat on the water because this is it's like something out of Star Wars this the amount of birds flying around I like little bloody TIE fighters careering everywhere
Oh no, I got one. Yes, it's released itself. I can feel it in the water shaking around like a fish's head shake. I think he sliced my line. I think I've still got him. Please be a fish. Eek. Just a fat coley. God, I thought I still had the guillemot on me line there. Now yeah, look at the size of that. That is a fat coley. No colours under the gills, under the uh, jaw there. I've never seen that. I don't know how they get lice on them, I mean they fly around in the water, you would expect them to uh, not have a chance for lice, but yeah, it's a good size. Right, let's go around the corner. These trebles must have been dinged off a rock. I don't know if you'll make out, but the, uh, the hook on that it is blunt. I mean, I stick it in my finger and it doesn't even puncture. Oh, that took really close in, so uh, gonna have one more cast with this and then swap over to a soft plastic. What a cracking day. It's uh, hard work to start with uh, while we were battling with the wind. I think I probably made the right call to move, given that we've got a codlin like within a few casts and then a pollock as well. Bit of a gutter that we uh, lost our better fish just at the end, well near the end there. It just goes to show how uh, you need true sharp hooks and probably some barbs as well but that's, that's my mistake really I guess. But uh, yeah I really enjoyed it. Nice bit visiting the area again after such a long time away. It's a shame that the car's not parked just up at the top of the hill like it used to be. But I guess, I guess that's a small price to pay for uh, for being able to come down here. I know in uh, one of my previous videos I mentioned that you couldn't fish at St Abs anymore and I think there's some conflicting information going on. The, the nature reserve itself, the voluntary nature reserve, because you shouldn't shore fish on the, in the actual nature reserve. But on my way down I asked a uh, guy who uh, works for National Trust Scotland and uh, he said there wasn't a problem so, and they own this land so uh, I'll take his word over the nature reserve so yeah, game on. So really hope you uh, enjoyed the video as much as I've enjoyed the day. Um, I'm going to uh, get my stuff packed up and get my legs back into gear to make well, a canny trek home, uh, back to the car at least with uh, with all this kit. Should have known it was a no drone zone, I would have just left two kilograms of weight in the car, that would have been nice but never mind. Thank you very much again and I really appreciate everyone who's joined the channel recently and uh, given us a lot of support and those people who are buying the merchandise as well, that's uh, it's brilliant. Never thought I'd sell a t-shirt or a hoodie, but yeah, thanks very much. Really appreciate it. And uh, until the next video, tight lines.
Oh, it'd be nice to get a lift back to the harbour on that. That would save us 40 minutes or so. Never mind. It's a lush night.